What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with the Impress. And I assume this is the 43rd episode. I could be wrong. I never focus on what number of the episodes this is. And today we are going to be talking about the NASCAR Bristol Dirt Monday race. I was going to say weekend, but yeah. That's another story. That's another topic for another day. So yeah, stay tuned if I do that. Anyway, that case of that. Here we go. So yesterday we just had the the Bristol dirt races at Bristol. Um, it took two months for Bristol to be a dirt track. Um, first time they turned Bristol to a dirt track in 20 years because back in 2000 and 2001, the World of Outlaw series did race at the Bristol Dirt. And honestly, that was pretty cool. Nobody ever thought we were going to see Bristol back on dirt again when it was announced that Bristol was going to be a dirt race. Of course, with the fan base, there's going to be one side and the other side, let's just say. Personally, I was like, I can't believe, oh wow, I can't believe they're doing it again. Like, it gave me like 2000 and 2001 flashbacks. Like, that's the only thing that it made me feel. I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. I didn't know. I didn't really know what to think about uh, Bristol being a dirt race again. Personally, I thought I saw this as a, oh hey, this is pretty much going to be a test for cup to see if they can do like more dirt races in the future that's how i saw it and um and then here we are now after two months of bristol being a dirt track after all the various dirt races for the bristol dirt nationals that happened before the trucks and cup races here we are with the trucks and cup and i know i said i won't do race reviews because I suck at those. So, all I can tell you is my thoughts about trucks and cup. All right, so let's get to a truck race. Honestly, once again, trucks have been very, very disappointing this year. What do I mean by that? Uh, this year, it's been nothing but a wreck fest, caution fest and all that. Um, I know Atlanta was a boring race and even without Kyle Busch being at that race I would still avoid uh, the truck race at Atlanta because I said that I'm not going to pay attention to the full season of NASCAR except Xfinity because Xfinity is still good other than that I'm, I'm watching certain trucks and cup races and I was hoping that truck race at, the truck race at Bristol Dirt would be good and guess what I don't know. I don't want to say it sucked, but let's just say it was just like 2020, 2021 truck season. A caution fest, a wreck fest. The racing was okay, at least. Truex was just dominant because, hey, Legion. Um, but hey, the only good thing about Truex winning was that he became the 36th driver to win a triple threat of the top three series. So that's your positive on that. So I'm not going to be too negative about a cup driver like Shrek's winning. Um, my personal opinion about the truck race. It was another wreck fest. Caution fest. The racing was okay. But it was not great. It was not good. It was okay, but it was disappointing. So, trucks continue to show uh, the disappointment of being a wreck fest. I, I know in the comments, everyone, people are going to say, Oh, Ian, it was just a dirt race. Like, of course, it's going to be like that. Of course, it's going to be a wreck fest in the dirt. I would let that slide and just shrug it off. But I can't because when trucks did Eldora starting in 2013, everything went well. There was no problems. We actually had good racing, not as such. Like first two years, like it was just green racing, green flag racing, good racing, few cautions. 2015, 
I don't think it was that bad with the, the, with the cautions. 2016, I think it was all right. 2017, I'm talking about caution-wise. 2017, Eldora, it was okay. 2018, I don't know. I don't remember too much. Um, I would let that slide, but I can't because it wasn't really like that for some Eldora races and trucks. So personally to me, trucks... Disappointing. Were there uh, positives from it? I don't know. Normally, I would try my best to look at the positives of like something going wrong, but I can't think of anything. I really can't think of anything positive about it. All I can say is thankfully everybody's okay and all that. And after the truck race, there was a tussle between John Hunter Nemechek's crew chief, uh, not crew chief, John Hunter Nemechek's team and Matt Crafton's team because earlier in the going, Matt Crafton got into the back bumper of John Hunter Nemechek and then Derek Crafton and Timothy Peters piled on and then John Hunter Nemechek showed his displeasure while the safety truck hit John Hunter Nemechek. Oh, what a bad day to be John Hunter Nemechek. I know he's got a baby coming up. That's good for him, but what a bad day to be John Hunter Nemechek. How can a thing, how can a situation go from bad to worse? Like, oh, you get wrecked out. I'll get piled on by a couple other drivers. And then while being pissed off at Matt Craft and showing your displeasure, a safety truck gets you. What if it was that a safety truck? What's going down on the track, got sideways, and hit John Hunter? Oh my... That's a bad day for John Hunter, okay? And that's for Matt Crafton, yeah, that was just... Racing, then there was a... I don't want to say fight, it was more like a tussle between... Crafton and Nemechek's team. All I know is that, like, one of the 88 crew members, like, shoved, like, John Hunter's team, and, and that's pretty much it. After that, it was all, like... It was a shouting match. Other than that, that was all. So he did kind of get it, like a piece of tensions at the Bristol Dirt. It was interesting. But other than that, truck sucked. Now let's move on to the Cup Series. For the first time in 51 years, the NASCAR Cup Series returns to dirt racing. And how did that go? All I can say is that it was better than trucks. We did get some good racing. It was good, not great, because you know, caution fest, but it was not as bad as the truck series. I will admit that. It was better than trucks. It was it was good. I'll say it was good. It was great to see like Cup on Dirt again. But it was a good race. Some fails, of course. Um, um, to see single file restart to NASCAR for the first time since 2009, it was something else, but it did give me the old NASCAR classic vibes. I will be honest about that. Thankfully, it was not like, oh, lap cars on the inside, lead lap cars on the outside, because I hate that single file restart. I personally like double file restarts in NASCAR only, but it was interesting to see single file restarts. It was because of visibility, but honestly, seeing single file restarts, it honestly gave me PTSD on the uh, iRacing Bristol race last year. I'm like, oh shit, it's gonna be, like as soon as they were going single file restarts, I'm like, oh shit, it's gonna be like a Bristol iRacing race from last year again. Oh fuck. But it turned out, personally, it turned out to be a success. It turned out very well. The racing was good. Not a lot of caution fest, probably. So, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. And, um, I know I've gotten some comments about the Stenhouse and Bubba thing on my reaction video yesterday. Okay, so here's the thing. Yes, again, I've said this once, I'll say it again. Yes, it was not, in, Stenhouse did not intentionally give Bubba a flat tire 
I know it was intentional, like, oh, like, Bubba didn't give enough room or whatever the fuck happened, but the thing is, I was mainly frustrated at Stenhouse because Bubba Wallace, everybody knows, like, like, he's in a new team, the new team, 23X High Racing, it's new, and I know, like, he's been improving himself and with the team, same thing with Richard Petty Motorsports, but somewhat better so far, and... It hurts to see Bubba get taken out again, tire down. It was painful. And, and even without a caution, it was even worse. It was painful to watch because he was having such a great race. And I know Bubba Wallace is a better driver. I know he's a decent driver, but I know he can be better than decent. I know he can do better. At least he brought the car back in one piece. No DNF, no crashing out, just a spin out. But I really want the dude to finish well with the team. He got screwed out of the top 10 for the third time yesterday. He he could have had to finish the top 10 at the 500, but he had a vibration. Was involved in the last lap crash while being a lap down. Phoenix, he had a top 10 run. And then he stayed out on a restart, and that was a bad call. And finished like 16th again. And yesterday, I don't I don't like to talk about stages, but he was top 10 in both stages. He could have gotten the top 10 finish, but nope. Another circumstance has happened. So I don't want to hear you bubble haters saying, oh, he's a terrible driver. He sucks. He's another Danica. Nya, 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 nya. I don't want to hear that shit because I know he's way better. Plus, he's way better than Danica, so they're uncomparable. I will do, hopefully, like, if I'm not lazy, I could do a video about that. About Danica and Bubba being uncomparable. Because they're not comparable. Bubba's actually way better. And also, a reminder, Bubba had nothing to do with the handle. He is not the juicy Smollett person. If he really did the juicy, he would be not only get fired from Richard Petty Motorsports last year, but he would be arrested. I mean, he would be fired from NASCAR, and he would be charged. That's how fake crimes actually work. You actually do fake crimes, and then when you get caught, you get charged. So, there's a reason why Bubba is still in the sport, you know. He's innocent. And he's actually a decent driver. Great guy and all that. He, this year he shows that he can race. He can do good. He can do better. But circumstances happen when you're in a new team. There's always going to be circumstances while, while for new teams and a driver in a new team. And Bubba shows he's good. And he can show he's, he can do better than decent. He just needs to close the deal. I really hope Bubba does get like good results and all that stuff. And speaking of new teams, shout out to Trackhouse. Oh my God. Daniel Suarez, after being kicked out of Joe Gibbs Racing and Stuart Haas Racing for being mediocre, he, holy fuck, not only did so good, led laps, not only he did so great, lean lap, but he brought Sarah Jack. I was, I'm so excited. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm excited for Daniel Suarez. I'm rooting for both teams. 23X side track house. I'm sorry. I'm excited. Um, he, he, he brought home a top five with track house. That is so amazing for Daniel Suarez. I'm happy to see tw um, track house do so well. Shout out to them. Shout out to Pitbull. Shout out to Justin Marks. Shout out to everybody in Trackhouse. Shout out to Daniel Suarez for a top five finish. Imagine if he won though. Five days of dirt experience. Look at that. Honestly, do you really have to have dirt experience to race in dirt in NASCAR? It's more like a yes or no. It's like balanced. Oh my God. So driver of the day, Daniel Suarez. Can't change my mind. So. Alright, so we got that out of the way. Couples better than trucks. Um, what do I think about the overall day? Um, honestly, I was personally hoping that the Bristol Dirt was going to be a one-time thing. And then we see Cup at somewhere else. Everyone's saying, oh, what about Odor? What about Knoxville? Guys, what about Texas Dirt? What about Charlotte Dirt? What about Las Vegas Dirt? Don't forget those tracks. There's other dirt races besides Eldora and Knoxville, you know. There's like dirt races that, that are worth a damn for like trucks and cup. And what about Xfinity? It's painful to see Xfinity not being on dirt in general. They never raced on dirt, period. 
Hopefully one of these days we see Xfinity on dirt. They deserve it. So, overall weekend. It was alright. It was alright. That's all I can say. And unfortunately... I say unfortunately because I was hoping it was going to be a one-time thing, but like... The Bristol there is coming back next year. And... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. If you want my opinion. And... And... I think it's official that it's going to be in the spring again. And that's going to be very disappointing. Because we all know why, but... Hopefully in the next episode, I'll get into context about Bristol and spring races. And why it's not good. So yeah, those are my opinions, my thoughts about the Bristol Dirt Races. What do you guys think about uh, the Bristol Dirt Races? Did you guys like it? Did you guys not like it? Um, so yeah, with that being said, not a perfect weekend. Terrible for trucks. Cup was not perfect, but it was good. Could have been better, but hey. Uh, we they can learn. Okay, that's a, that's what's important, guys. You l live and you learn. So with that being said, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Um, don't forget to turn on my YouTube notification bell. Don't forget to turn on my notifications for more content. Hit that bell. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is the Impress Forty Eight signing off and. It was one dirty day yesterday. I can't think of a better outro, so deal with it. Deal with it, I guess. Anyway, this is the Impress 48 signing off. Happy Easter.